Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So one feature that I tend to get quite a bit of questions about is the whole concept of relationship insights. And so I thought today would be a good opportunity to go in and discuss what is relationship insights, how does it work, what are the different components that make up the application itself. And so realistically, there's there's three components that make up the Relationship Insights solution that you can install. Now, a couple of things before we get too far into it. Uh, it is a preview feature, so it isn't necessarily something that you're going to use in a production instance yet. But if you're really looking at you know how things work and you really want to get kind of a good idea in regards to what's going on with your customers and keep track of important information specifically related to opportunities or accounts that you're working with or even just activities that you have going on a day-to-day -day basis the relationship insights feature can work very well so it really breaks down into three baseline categories it breaks down into the relationship assistant which consists of several different cards that pop up based upon different scenarios so it can look at things like you know do you have an opportunity closing within X number of days if so it can pop up a relationship card that lets you know that this opportunity is coming and that you want to follow Follow up on it. Do you have any activities or items that are due today? Um, if so, those can pop up as items or cards inside the application, letting you know that you should act on those particular situations. The other thing that's kind of neat with the relationship assistant is you do have the capabilities to actually configure it to work with your exchange as well. And so as emails are coming in, it'll start to look at emails and items inside those emails and pop up cards to determine whether or not it's important for you to work with. The other feature that's kind of cool is the auto capture feature. And so you can kind of see it on the middle of the screen here, but the auto capture feature is really designed for you to look at emails that are not currently tracked in Dynamics 365. So it considers things like who is the email coming from? Um, is the relationship uh, associated or does it have some type of terminology that might be related to an opportunity that you're working with? Is it coming from a contact at an organization that you're doing business with that you may or may not have tracked within the system? And what it does is it basically goes in and suggests that these emails might be relevant to something that you're currently working on and gives you the opportunity for you to go ahead and then track that information in the system. By looking at it with your relationship assistant or with your auto capture, it's not necessarily tracked. So you're the only person that can see it, but it does give you a mechanism to be able to track that information moving forward if for some reason you deem that it's relevant. So it tries to go out and make suggestions on things that might be beneficial to you. The other piece to this is the email engagement piece. And so the email engagement piece is nice because now you have a capabilities to send out emails or tracked emails out to customers or organizations and start to see what people are doing. Um, how many times was it open? Was it forwarded? Did they reply? All of those statistics start to get captured inside the application. And so the relationship um, the Relationship Insights feature is really nice because it does now start to bring all these different little elements into the application that you can now start leveraging. So let's go ahead and hop into the application and take a look at how all of this works. So as I mentioned, it is a preview feature. So obviously one of the first things that you'll have to do is you'll have to enable this functionality inside your organization. Even if you see it from the settings menu, it still needs to be set up and enabled for your organization. Now, I know we have a lot of people that kind of watch these videos from all over the world. Keep in mind that the Relationship Insights feature isn't necessarily available for preview in all geographic locations yet. So you may or may not see it as an option that you do have the availability to to look at from a preview standpoint but if you go into system settings Underneath system settings, you'll see your previews option. So obviously being a preview feature, you will have to uh, agree to the license terms. And then if you scroll down underneath relationship insights, you will see three options that you can enable. So again, there's three key features that make up this functionality. There's the relationship assistant, there's the auto capture, and then there is the email engagement piece. So you can enable all three of them or any combination of those that you see fit based upon what you're looking to, to accomplish. Then you're gonna go ahead and click on okay. 
and that's going to install the functionality or enable the functionality inside your organization. And so now you're ready to go ahead and start experimenting with it. So the first thing that you're going to do is when you go into settings, you will see your relationship insights feature. So this is going to bring you into the relationship insight option. The first thing that you'll have to do is turn on the relationship assistant for your organization. And so this is an administrative setting. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is end users do have the capabilities to go in and start enabling and turning on specific functionality once the functionality has been turned on at an organization level. So once you've enabled it as a user, I can go in and I can start playing with some of the different relationship insight information inside uh, for my personal settings. So you'll turn on and, and save the, the functionality. And then these are some of the different cards that you can determine. So if you think about it, you know, what do you have going on in your day-to-day -day aspect? Do you have any emails that you flagged for follow-up that you need to work on today? Do you have any phone calls or items that you need to work on today? All of these are items that you would now have the capabilities to go in and opt into. So from a closing perspective, if an opportunity is something that you know you want to make sure that you're staying a little bit ahead of the game, you do have the capabilities to look at you know when an opportunity is set to close and then enable that functionality and define what specific day you want to work with. I also could look at things like Exchange. So if I have a competitor who has been mentioned in, in a specific email, um, do I want to have that populate up? Um, if a file or an issue or a meeting request or, or something um, has come in from, from the application perspective, now it's going to go out and it's going to start to look inside your Exchange and add cards for those options instead of working with it. Now, you do have the capability when you're working with it to automatically kind of have these items related or you can have it create a card basically asking you if this is something that you want to work with and then making the determination as to whether or not you want to you want to enable it and again you've got several different scenarios um, maybe you want to really start to massage your accounts or your cases or your opportunities so now if you have a situation where you haven't done anything with an account or with an opportunity or with a lead in X number of days, you now have the capabilities to go out and start to work with those particular features and functionality. So you can specify, okay, we haven't talked to an account in 30 days. It's going to create a relationship analytics card that lets us know that there hasn't been any activity with that particular record in X number of days. Maybe you should do something or act on that functionality. And again, I could also do some email options if I wanted to. Um, I could look to see, you know, if an email has been open if I have a reminder for a follow-up. So this is if I'm using email engagement and I want to specifically look at information that's coming in, I could have cards based upon those options. And then I've got some productivity cards that I can work with uh, around you know, customers who are nearby, relevant um, stock updates. And then I've got some other ones around things that are happening today, uh, today's top people records. These are all things that are configurable from within the application. So once you've turned this on at an organization, level and said, okay, this is what we want to track from an organization perspective. Now your users have the capabilities to come in and start consuming this as well as modifying their individual settings inside the application. So now I could come into here for my, my item and I could go into sales and I could go into my dashboards and this is going to open up kind of my standard sales activity dashboard. But what's going to be interesting here now is my relationship assistant is going to be displayed. And so within the relationship assistant, it's going to say, hey, you know what? You have an opportunity that closes on Monday the 1st. Uh, you may want to go in and look at that. You also have a follow-up meeting that is set up for today that you may want to go in and look at from in regards to this. So now I have the capabilities to really start to have actionable items based upon those situations situations. Should I open up this opportunity and you know look at what's happening from this situation? Um, should I have this remind me later so I can basically hit the snooze button, have it remind me at a later time to come back in and work with this. But now I have a full level of capabilities as emails or other items are coming in to really start to leverage this and start working with this information as I'm moving forward. Now I'll also see in here that I, I have some capabilities to go in and customize how the 
relationship cards are shown. So these are my personal options. So what we saw earlier was organization wide. Now, once this has been enabled and you've said, okay, here's the baseline cards and the functionality that we want to use from an organization perspective. Now, as a user, I can come in here and start to determine and configure what I want to do from an opportunity perspective. And this gives me some options to kind of churn some of these individual options on and off. Now, you'll notice that I don't necessarily have the ability to mess with the days too much in this situation because, again, that was controlled at an organization level, but I at least have the capabilities to opt in and out of functionality based upon what I want to do. So I know that, you know what, I really don't mess with faxes that much. I don't mess with letters that much. I'm going to turn some of these different options off and then save this at a personal level, and this will be what I'll have kind of moving forward. So this just gives me some nice capabilities to see what's happening inside the application. Now, the other thing that you'll see is as you're going into the opportunity, for example, you will also see relationship cards or relationship assistant cards that can populate in here. So at a record level, now I can see that, you know what, I do have an opportunity that is scheduled to close soon for this. The relationship assistant realizes this, and now it goes in and it sets that information up for me. Now, again, if I don't have something in here, or I don't necessarily have any cards that would be relevant to this particular item, the relationship assistant isn't going to display those. And so this is just a very nice way that at an organization level, I or at a, at a record or organization level, that I can see what's going on and really start to massage the relationship and stay on top of things so things don't slip through the cracks. Now, the other piece to this that we'll kind of discuss in this video is the concept of the auto capture feature. So real quick, if I go back into settings and relationship insights, I can see that there is an auto capture functionality. So there's a couple of things to remember with the auto, uh, auto capture feature. The first thing is you do have to have an active mailbox that's using server-side synchronization. So you do have to have server-side syncing set up and having your emails come in. But as those emails are coming in, once you turn on auto capture for your organization, you now have the ability to have the system go out, search emails, and make the determination based upon who they're coming from. And again, it looks at the account, it looks at the contact, it looks at the topics that were mentioned, and then it starts to suggest emails that might be relevant to those particular items. Now, once it's been enabled at an organization level, now I could come into here, I could go into settings for our personal options, and underneath email for my personal options, I have a show not tracked emails in the activity list. So this is an option that I can opt into based upon the fact that I have relationship insights installed, and now it will start tracking emails that or, or showing emails that are not necessarily tracked inside the application. So let's look at what that looks like. So if I go back into sales and let's just say opportunities. Now I can go ahead and I can open up you know, any one of these opportunities. And as you know, when you're working through your opportunities or with your records, you have your associated activities. Now, what's interesting here is you'll notice that when I opened up this particular item, I did not see the relationship assistant as I did when I was working with it earlier. If I open up interested in 10 items, now I get the relationship assistant. So this is that scenario where it's going to start to show you particular items based upon how you've leveraged those situations. So as I'm coming into here, I can look at the assistant, I can see what's happening. If I go into activities, now when I go into my activities, it's going to show me down here, hey, here's some options that I saw coming into your email that are not necessarily tracked, but it looks like there's some items in here that might work with this. From this standpoint, I could now track this item inside Dynamics 365 if I wanted to. And this will now create a related record that everybody inside the organization sees. So now I have the ability for items that are not auto tracked inside the system to at least see those relevant scenarios, make the determination from my perspective as to whether or not they are beneficial, and then start working with them from there. So these are just two of the features of the Relationship Insights option, uh, functionality that work very well. In a future video, we will go ahead and talk a little bit about the email 
final engagement piece, just because there's a little bit more around setup and how that works. But just using these two features, you can see that it really does open up a whole new realm of possibilities. Now, the other thing is keep in mind that as these items are coming through, you do have the capabilities to start looking at some of this information on the mobile application as well and start leveraging some of the information from there. So I hope you enjoyed our look into Relationship Insights and how it could potentially be leveraged for your organization. Again, the two key features we looked at were the auto capture functionality and the cards that, were, that are a part of the Relationship Assistant. In a future video, we'll go ahead and explore the email engagement piece, which will really allow you to start seeing some analytics around what's happening in your organization. But again, thanks everybody for watching and for all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody, and have a good one.